कैसे हो भाई लोगों यहाँ पे रॉकस्टार ने फैंस का जनाजा निकाल दिया गाइस वी टॉक अबाउट जीटीएस सिक्स अमीडियटली ओके अपेरेंटली टेक टू जस्ट केम आउट एंड दे टॉक अबाउट जीटीएस सिक्स अ लेट बे मोर ओके एंड दे टॉक अबाउट द रिलीज डेट टाइम फ्रेम द डिलेज कैन कैन दे हैपन दो कैन दे हैपन बिकॉज देर इज अ स्ट्राइक गोइंग ऑन राइट सो वर गेन टॉक अबाउट कैन जीटीएस सिक्स बी डिलेड वी गेट टॉक अबाउट जीटीएस सिक्स ट्रेलर टू एज वेल बिकॉज द इंटायर कम्युनिटी में द इंटायर कम्युनिटी इज लुकिंग लाइक दिस राइट नाउ बाय देर इज whole lot of hopium around the streets all right like the video if you hope that we do not get shark cards 2.0 in gta 6 Dislike the video if you want Shark Cards 2.0. We're gonna get down to it, man. We're gonna check out the homie Mr. Boss for the win. It looks like that the homies but I lay some smack down tonight. Roll it. If you're wondering why Grand Theft Auto 6 is trending on social media, well, that's because their parent company Take Two Interactive had their earnings call the other day, and Grand Theft Auto 6 was brought up multiple times, and we actually got some good news. We'll be talking about what okay. that is and okay. more okay. on this okay. video today. So that's right. Yesterday we had circled on our calendar for quite some time because that was the earnings call for Rockstar Games' parent company and publisher of GTA 6, Take Two Interactive. They had their earnings call where we hear from executives. like CEO and chairman Strauss yeah, Selnick yeah, yeah, and yeah. in the past they've actually confirmed Grand Theft Auto 6 news that it was going to be oh, wow. releasing in fall 2025 instead of calendar year 2025. Well, we ended yeah. up getting some good news because Strauss Selnick doubled down and confirmed that GTA 6 is still set to release in fall 2025. Going on to say the Grand Theft Auto series exceeded our expectations as momentum continues to build ahead of the launch of Grand Theft Auto 6 in fall 2025. So that was his direct right, quote from the earnings good. call and you can also see on this chart here this is Take Two's future lineup announced to dates and you can see under Rockstar Games they have Grand Theft Auto 6 still on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S so no PC as of yet and it says fall of calendar Oh man y'all suck is on PC bro like this game probably going to come on PC in 2026 maybe even 2027 man so <laughs> Yeah man like this this is going to be real real sad for the PC homies man like the video if you if you're shedding tears for the PC homies man under 2025 and that wasn't the only thing they updated they Wait also have a little powerpoint that they send out to their stockholders and shareholders too and for the first time ever under the Grand Theft Auto series they have this Grand Theft Auto 6 planned to release in fall of calendar 2025 oh, and wow. again if we oh, were wow. to just take them verbatim what their word is fall 2025 we can essentially narrow it down between these dates and that would be any time between Monday September 22nd and Sunday December 21st and going off of when Rockstar has released their last few titles like Red Dead Redemption 2 on October 16th, 2018 and GTA 5 on September 17th, 2013, yeah. I would say this is the release date that's likely going to stick. I, I hope it's in September, man. Like I hope it's not in like October or November or December. I hope it is in 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 August, man. Or or I should say, yeah, August the better, but I hope it's in September like we're hearing right now. I've said many a times here on the channel and in the past that I already feel like Grand Theft Auto 6 was delayed internally. I feel like when Rockstar put out their very first trailer and it just said 2025, they were probably optimistic that it could come out in spring of 2025 but yeah. now since we've heard from them they they also did say uh the quarter like fiscal year 2025 which meant like early 2025 as well but yeah it, it got delayed that that's fine though as long as the game is good and, and to be honest though time is flying like crazy it's been 8 months since we got the original trailer 1 oh, let that sink in and we're going to get down to trailer 2 as well we got to talk about it because there's a whole lot of hope in around the streets all right especially with GTA 6 like this game is going to be massive okay i just hope it's a good game man that's all what i hope for i hope they do not go crazy with the shark cards man i hope they don't go too crazy with the woke stuff in it as well man i i hope like they do not turn jason around i hope like, you, you feel what i'm saying right like i don't want jason to be a strong independent queen their parent company and publisher take to interactive and they've sort of publicly declared that it's now fall 2025 i think that was the internal delay that's already yeah. taken place therefore i don't I don't think we're going to be getting another one and I really do believe that Rockstar likes that fall 2025 timeline. It's when they've released their other games. It's right before the holiday season. It's a win-win for everyone. It also allows Rockstar the chance to have more people get their hands on a PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S, which again are the only two systems this game has been confirmed for yeah, so far. Crazy. There's no PC and there's no and, and it's coming on Series S as well, right? We previously heard that GTA 6 might actually be for example uh 30 fps on ps5 you know you know what i'm saying <laughs> and if that's the case it's probably going to be 30 fps on ser uh, xbox series x as well but but what what about the s man what about the series s man oh man you guys going to be lucky for this game to be at 15 fps bro like let me <laughs> you know what i'm saying i, I don't think it's going to be 15 fps like let's be real we're talking rockstar games here at, at minimum i can see it be 720 30 fps okay like i I, i can i can yeah guys like come on man i can yeah serious this bro like damn you guys should be should be happy if it runs at 30 fps and 720p because let me tell you man Series S is Series S it's looking tough for that boy bro it's looking real tough for that boy but wait for it 
older generation consoles like Xbox One or PlayStation 4, meaning it gives more people time to upgrade their units. Now, a couple of more things that were mentioned on the call, which by the way, I will leave a link to the transcript in the description if you guys oh, are interested wow. in sort oh, of wow. listening or watching to the entire thing. Something that has happened over the last couple of weeks is the ongoing industry strikes by SAG-AFTRA. And we've talked about in previous videos that GTA 6 was safe from the strike, but we obviously hadn't heard from Rockstar Games or Take-Two Interactive. Well, Take-Two Interactive CEO Strauss Zelnick has confirmed that titles currently in development at Rockstar Games and other Take-Two Game Studios will not be affected by the ongoing industry strike. So that right there is good news. The strikes themselves is not good news, and Strauss Zelnick even acknowledges this on the Q&A section, which I highly recommend checking out. He acknowledges yeah, that- Yeah, that's that's good to know. That's good to know. That's really, really good to know. And this is something that we talked about as well, right? This might affect other stuff, but definitely not GTA 6, especially GTA 6 is uh, coming out next year, right? Like, so of course the actors, the mocap, the, the voiceover uh, and all that probably uh, would have been done already by now, right? If they need those artists, if they need the actors, it's probably for the future games or the DLCs uh, for GTA 6, right? In the future. That part for the, uh, in the future, right? But the game is probably coming out on time, so that, that's good to know, man. That's good to know. W. This is obviously not great news and that they would like the strike to be resolved, but they are safe and Grand Theft Auto 6 is safe, so it is not going to have an impact on the development of that title. Now, some more bits of information that I was able to gather from the call, essentially just listening to the executives. They confirmed that fiscal year 2026 for them will be very strong, which to me further confirms GTA 6 coming out in fall 2025. Strauss Elnick and the team kind of doubled down on this, which does sort of show their confidence in the entire situation and how there won't be another delay. And it almost seems like it's coming at the perfect time for Take-Two and Rockstar. I would still say, man, you never know. With these suckers out here, bro, you never know. They might delay it, bro. They might delay it. I'm just saying, man. You don't know. With this one, yeah, but especially with GTA 6. And knowing Rockstar's track record, they have delayed games so many times. You know, when a, when a game is like three months out, they delay it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They delay it. And, and so far, we are a year away from the game, right? We're in August. Next month, it would be September. Now, for example, right? If GTA 6 comes out 2020, uh, September 2025, then we're like a year and a month away from that happening. And, and time is gonna fly quick when they drop the second trailer, images, gameplay reveal and all that. Uh, yeah, it's gonna go by quick, uh, absolutely. Eight months have already gone by uh, since trailer one. And, and what about trailer two? Yeah, previously we were also having a talk about this too, right? We were we were having a conversation uh, about trailer two that it's most probably gonna come out by the end of the year if the game is still set for 2025. And so far, I think the game is really set for 2025. So very, very likely that we're gonna get the trailer too, perhaps by December, meaning that it can definitely come out between now and December. But I think it realistically, uh, probably uh, before or during or after their next earnings call, which is likely gonna happen in three months from now. So September, October, November, yeah. So their last call this year is gonna be in November. So we can perhaps get the trailer too around that time or like they have dropped in December last year perhaps we can get it in December, but it's right now it's very likely we're gonna get trailer 2 by December, right? And next year, early next year, we can get some gameplay video. Then they gotta reveal GTA Online. Guys, gotta think about it. They gotta reveal GTA Online 2. Oh, the, the new one, the latest version for GTA 6, right? So they gotta reveal that too. Usually they drop story trailers as well, pictures and, and all that, Rockstar Newswire posts. So there's gonna be quite a lot and perhaps we're gonna also hear about the actors so they can, they, they're probably gonna have interviews as well. So all of that plus comes uh, Summer Game Fest next year, right? Which is gonna replace E3. It is currently replacing E3. So next year summer is looking, looking, looking lit, man. Like I think, I think next year would be real, real crazy, man. Even if the game gets delayed, I think next year would be really, really good for leaks, reveals, rumors, and uh, and all of that, right? Official news and everything. I think it's gonna be really, really good because GTA 5 actually failed to sell its usual 5 million copies within three months. And overall performance for GTA Online is down. And they expect this downward trend that's to good. continue uh, as that's time good. goes on. Now, that, That's good because that means that they're going to try their hardest to put out GTA 6 fast as possible. But we still want a good game though. Let's Despite this decreased performance, GTA Online, GTA 5, and the entire GTA series, as well as GTA Online subscription service, GTA Plus, have gained momentum leading up to GTA 6. So we can probably expect more DLCs to release. Now, moving on, another thing that was talked about on the call is modding and user-generated content. And even though I don't think mm. this is specific mm. to GTA 6, it could very well be a part of GTA 6's multiplayer and even the single-player aspect as well. Take-Two confirmed that they are open to user-generated content and modding 
slotting in their games, but they did note that they're interested in creating what they call great entertainment products and not user-generated content platforms like Roblox. So they certainly wanted to make the distinction between what they're doing and other companies are doing. And really, last but not least, and something we'll continue to monitor over the next couple of hours and days is the interviews that CEO Strasselnik will do after this earnings call. And one of the ones that has popped up has been done with gamesindustry.biz, and he actually talks about Game Pass. And that's one of the things that GTA 6 has been associated with, or at least the idea of it. Would it come to a subscription service like Game Pass on day one? And he actually uses no. an example, another no. massive title, Call of no. Duty, because he says that putting a game like Call of Duty in Game Pass will inevitably push consumers towards subscribing, at least for a bit. And Take-Two does support subscription services, though it does so typically through its legacy titles, yet it has been skeptical around the idea of putting a brand new AAA game into the service on the day they come out. You guys might remember back in 2022, he said that doesn't make... I, I mean, a game like GTA 6, bro, stickers are ready. They are all on their hands and knees for like, what, years? For a decade? Like, there is no way, no way these suckers gonna put GTA 6. Any sense to us, because economically speaking, we don't think consumers are prepared to pay for that. And we can't afford to turn our business upside down in a way that doesn't make sense economically. And so he asked how this would work with the latest edition of Call of Duty Black Ops 6 in October. He says, I think that offering a frontline title with a premium price and a subscription service day and date will push consumers to that subscription service for at least a period of time. However, yeah. he added that this move by Microsoft doesn't change how Take-Two views the subscription opportunity, saying no, it won't affect our decisions because our decisions are rational. So. There you go. You heard it from the man himself. Holy crap. Oh my god. Yo, this guy just bodied Phil Spencer right there. Our decisions are rational. What do you mean, bro? What do you mean? I know what he means, but I'm, it's a rhetorical question, right? Like, what, what do you mean, bro? Like, do you mean that Phil Spencer is a dumbass? Is that what you're saying? You think that he is stupid? Do you think that he is a stupid? Like, come on, man. Like, what you talking about? Strauss Zelnick? Damn, homie. Don't be doing the homie uh, Phil Spencer like that, bro. Like, that is crazy. Sheesh. Self, that is what he thinks about putting a game like GTA 6 yeah, he on thinks, Game Pass. He thinks he's stupid, though. On day one, it's probably not going to happen. Now, in that same article, he also talks about some of the cuts that they've had to make over the last couple of months and years and some of the harder hit areas of Take-Two's business and how they're yeah, moving. Yeah, he thinks he's local. He thinks he's local. He thinks he's local. Bruh. He thinks he's puta madre. He's local. Forward in the future, seemingly pointing to GTA 6, saying we have narrowed down the pipeline to focus on the titles that we think will be the most successful. Clearly, okay. Grand Theft Auto 6. But one of the challenges the game faces is there's a lot of gamers, including GTA Online players, who are still gaming on old generation consoles like the PS4 and Xbox One. And GamesIndustry.biz actually asked Strasselnik about this problem. We actually talked about this in a previous video, going on to say, no, it's not a challenge. You're right. There are certain players that are really interested in legacy titles. We have a superb catalog in this company. It's reliable and generates a lot of net bookings every year. So we are thrilled that there are players interested in legacy titles and even legacy systems. That said, the new hit titles do generate an enormous amount of net bookings in the industry, not just ours, but everyone else. It's really a top 10 title business at the end of the day. Going on to say, within a couple of years of the launch of new hardware, usually usage of the prior generation hardware does take off meaningfully, but I think that will be the case here as well. It's just a matter of time. And regarding okay. GTA 6 and Take-Two's 15 immersive core titles that are set to come out over the next couple of years, he said there are modest tailwinds which are positive. It's our job to outperform the industry, and the only way to do that is to generate big hits, and I think we have all the necessary elements to deliver that. So even though they didn't come out and say, hey, here's new details about GTA 6, other than the fact they doubled down and confirmed it was still coming out in fall 2025. Yo, damn, that burned up big, though. Lots of positives here. There didn't seem to be Bruh. any skepticism about the release itself, or any issues with the game, or questions about Rockstar's ability to deliver on anything about the title itself. All of this really gave positive news. And now we just have to wait for yeah. Rockstar Games. They're the ones that just continue to remain radio silent here. So I'll keep you guys posted if there's- I, I hope trailer two comes out sooner rather than later, man. But uh, check out this video on the screen, guys. Recently, we had some real bad news, man. Like, it, it is not looking good, bro. It is not looking good. What's happening with Mr. Beast? It's not looking good. I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch it or not. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. We had some good news about GTA 